Hello and welcome back once again to my channel Biology with Dr. Pankaj Shah. If you are new to this channel then please subscribe to the channel to get most updated videos on all aspects of life sciences. Now in the last video we discussed about the fruits. As you know that we discussed the fruit, uh, fruit basically botan botanically a fruit is a fertilized and ripened ovary. However, in, in some cases, uh, fruits also develop without fertilization that is called as parthenocarpy. We will discuss about that also in a later video. Now last time we discussed about fruits and I told you how to remember the types of fruits. For that I gave you this keyword SAM, simple, aggregate and multiple. You can visit my old videos in the playlist on my channel and you can find the way I described to you to rem remember all the types of simple fruits, simple fleshy fruits in a very easy way. Now this simple fruit which is basically developing from one flower, one ovary is of two types, fleshy and dry. And uh, today's topic is about dry fruits because we have already finished the simple fleshy fruits in the previous videos. And uh, I also give, gave you a clue that fleshy means it is juicy. So the juice will be coming out drop by drop. So drop by drop the juice will be coming out. This, this drop, sorry, so this drop is a clue for you. The juice or liquid will come out drop by drop. And this drop will be a clue for you to remember droop. And this is how you can remember that. All the details all, and the examples are mentioned in the previous videos. Now let us come to the dry types. The other type of simple uh, fruits is dry. The name itself tells you that the, the pericarp is dry. As you know that the fruit has three layers. Exocarp is the outer layer. Mesocarp is the middle layer. And endocarp is the inner layer which covers the seed inside. Also, this is mentioned in the previous video. Now, our topic for today is dry fruit. Now, dry fruit is basically of two types. It is divided into two types. Let us see what are those two types. First type is dehiscent. And the second type is indehiscent. Now, dehiscent are those type of fruits which, uh, which uh, Basically, when they when they mature, they break by themselves. So, dehiscents are those fruits which break by themselves. Now, what they do when they break by themselves? They, in order to release the seeds. So, basically, they release the seeds, and seeds are in greater numbers. There are many seeds, multiple seeds. So, many seeds are present which are released. Now, as you know that. If it is a fleshy fruit, uh, the animals are attracted, they will be eating those fruits, they will be eating the flesh and they will be, uh, you know, like it will be a part of their diet and then they will be throwing out the endocarp or the seeds in the forest or other places. So that serves as a method for the fleshy fruit to, uh, to you know, uh, to go to distant, distant places and this is how the population increases in the simple fleshy fruits. But in the dry fruits, they do not have this uh, type of, uh, you know, like method by which the animals are basically mostly attracted. So they have, some of them are eaten by the animals also. We will discuss about those fruits also. But uh, mostly what they do, they have to uh, evolve their own method. And that method is they break by themselves. So that happens in the Dyson fruits. So when they mature, they break by themselves and then they throw the seeds out. Whereas in Dyson fruits, they do not break by themselves. So they here, they do not break by themselves. And basically they are not broken at all. At all. Basically they are a tight, you know, like packed fruit. They will not be uh, breaking and they will not be releasing seed. So why they are doing this? Well, because they do not have that much number of seeds to throw or to liberate. So they have only, generally they have one seed. Indecent fruits, generally they have less number of seeds, generally one seed in, the, in one fruit, one seed per fruit. And they will be not breaking, that's why they are called as indecent fruits. Now what we will do, 
I will explain because there are different types also. Like here you saw that uh, droop, berry, has pea. Here also in Dyson also we have many uh, types and the other type in Dyson also we have many examples and their categories. So I will discuss one by one first Dyson types and then in Dyson. So I will erase this and we will start with the Dyson and I will tell you very easy way to remember all the types of Dyson fruits and later on in Dyson fruits. So let us now discuss about Dyson fruits. So this will be simple. Now simple, we are talking about simple dry fruits. Simple fleshy, we already have finished. Simple dry fruits. So first Dyson fruits. As we discussed already that it has different categories or different types. So how would you remember that? Again, I'll give you a very easy method to remember all these types. Dyson, as you said that, you know, it breaks by itself. So you can relate it with, with this thing that suppose a person, uh, so for liberating, it will break and it will release. So suppose if a person falls, if a person falls, okay, so he will break his leg, right? So just, you know, this is for your reference so that you can remember it very easily. A person falls and the person breaks his leg. So when you see, you know, when you try to find out, so when you see that why it is like this, why he broke his leg, well, you find that there was less calcium. So the method to remember this is this fall leg sika. Now I will elaborate for you. Number one, fall. Fall is follicle. So the fruit type is follicle. Number two is legume. Leg means legume here. Number three, three C is silicua. And number four is capsule. So these are one, two, three, four. Four types of dry Dyson fruits. Now, I will elaborate the, each one of them. I will give you the concept why it is called like this. What are the differences among them? And what are the examples of these things? Many times questions are asked on, on these because fruit is one of the most comprehensive topic, very big topic. It has various, you know, uh, types of fruits and examples and categories. So I have tried to make it simplify, simple for you to simplify the things so that you can remember it. Okay. So we have seen fall, leg, sika. Now, number one is follicle. Follicle is a, is a type of fruit, dry fruit where the fruit breaks when it arrives it breaks it opens by one line so it the follicle breaks by one line or one suture or one line so let us make a follicle so follicle is something like this I will do one thing, I think if I make, you know, like a column for you, it will be easy for you to see the differences among them. Okay, so we will go now and we will try to go with these columns. So as I said, fall leg seeker, fall leg C. This is what you have to remember for dry fruits. Number one is follicle. Number two is legume. Then when you see that one person falls, so the leg is broken, then you see or the doctor see Sees, so it is silicua and you find that there is less 
calcium which is your capsule right so one two three four now follicle as i said a type of fruit where the a line by which it breaks is only one so breaks by one line or one suture so like this suppose this is the follicle fruit something like this so it will break by one line one cut like this and it will numerate seeds so this is the the fruit this is the line this is one line example of this type of fruit is milkweed milkweed or calotropis procera this is the name of the plant follicle now legume legume is a type of fruit now what will happen here the line number of lines by which it is breaking will be increasing so you can see here here it is one line okay so in legume it breaks by two line it breaks by two line two lines now here the lines number will be increasing two seam line or seam or joints so you will see that it will break it will like up like uh, it will break from front and also it can break or open from back so front and break and back two lines so example here is uh, p breaks by two lines the example is p pisum sativum is a scientific name all the members of legume family leguminaceae family so the fruit all is called as pod the name of the fruit is called as pod so let us see here so suppose this is the p pod so it will break from here and it can break break for the back side also and the seeds so here the seeds are present here also the seeds the seeds are present like this so it can break from both the lines legumes so fall leg like some if somebody falls legs leg is broken and when you see you know like as i said uh, what happened why it happened then you find that the calcium is less in the bones and that's what basically happens now silicua silicua is a type of uh, fruit where it breaks like this like p from front and back but the interesting thing about silicua is that here the seeds are born on the you know margin because it has marginal presentation you can also check my old videos where i have talked about the presentation types uh, marginal axial presentation uh, free central and basal and i also discussed how to remember them in my channel you know uh, you will find very easy ways to remember biology all the types of you know topics and all those things in a very simple way okay so uh, silicua so what happens what happens here it breaks by you know like type two so it breaks by like this but what happens it has a central axis something like this this central axis so it it breaks like this both so, so i'll make it again in silicua this is the opening of the of the okay sorry so this is how the fruit opens but what interesting thing it has that it has a central axis this one a central axis like this this central axis is called as rep replum or central axis and the seeds are present on these on this axis like this silicua 
Now, if you see it, which letter, English letter, it looks like? Can you see which English letter it looks like? To me, it looks like, you know, like M. Can you see this? This M. So, M here means mustard. Mustard family. Which family? Mustard family. Mustard family, you know, that is Brassicaceae. Or, so, this is the family will be Brassicaceae. Brassicaceae. So, Brassica, Compestris. So, all those members of Brassicaceae will have Silicua, cabbage, or Brassica. So, this is M shaped. Okay, it's again for your reference. So, mustard family. Now, one more fruit is here, which is a slight modification of this. It is called as Silicil. Silicua, Silicil, or Silicula. Silicula. Look at this silly sill. This silly sill looks like circle. C I R C L E. Circle. So, what happens here that this fruit is not here, it is long, but here it will be something like, uh, like a circle. So, the two halves which are here will be like this. Will be like this. And the central part will be like this. And the seeds will be born like this. So, the only difference between the silicua and silicil is the shape. Here it is like uh, long and here it is shortened, flattened like a circle. Silicil, silicil circle. Again, this, uh, these are found in your Brassicaceae mustard family. The last one here is CA or capsule. Capsule is found in, in various plants, but what happens here, it is a round structure a ball like structure and the line where by which it breaks so here you can see that here it is breaking by one line here it is breaking by one and also from back so two lines here it is breaking front and back and this is the central central axis on which the seeds are are placed here the line by which it breaks are many. It can be one, it is one, two, three, four, like this, five, many lines. So, it breaks by multiple lines and then it opens by each line and it opens and it gives the seed. The example here is cotton, gossypium. Hirsutum, Gossypium, species Gossypium, Hirsutum, Malvesi family. So, cotton, opium is also there. These are some examples which are capsule. So, this is the four or you can say five because it has two types here, but four uh, general types of dry dehiscent types. So, we have finished simple, dry, dehiscent and also the example. So, I think now it is very easy. I do not think that you will uh, now uh, be you know like confusing or forgetting it. It is very easy. Dehiscent breaks and release seeds and seeds are many. You will see in all of them they have many seeds, multiple seeds. They are fused also from uh, various you know, like carpels are fused, so they are in carpels, they in some they are in carpels, in some they are like monocarpillary, but then they break, they release seeds. So now thank you very much for this. I hope that you like the video. So please do share, subscribe the channel to get more interesting videos on all aspects of life sciences. Thank you very much, stay healthy, stay safe.